never seen. I'm going back, you know, personally for a brandy tonight yeah. to drink to the lack of the, the quote unquote bomb squad. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? Apart from when we win it, that's about tight of it. Disappointing for the Springboks, but without the proper kicker, you can't win test match, especially against a good side like Ireland. So hopefully when Pollard is back and he is, he will be picked for the, the side. And I'm afraid the 7-1 split didn't work against Ireland. So maybe back to the drawing board, but uh, the best team win today. And But we will be back and we'll, we'll win the final. I'm sure about it. I mean, you, if you can't kick, you're not going to win. Okay, so I mean, how long is it going to take for us to work that out? Yeah. Um, so maybe we have some kicking practice. Um, but Ireland, I mean, Ireland was fantastic, very strategic. Um, but um, yeah, you know, we're going to go, we're going to see them in the finals. The Irish are behaving like this is the final. So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a false start. So they're going to wake up tomorrow and realize they're going to have to go again. Um, but... Uh, Manny Livalk, has he, has he lost his space now that Pollard's come into the squad? Well, absolutely not. I, listen, I think Pollard needs a shot. I think we need some fresh thinking. Um, because the kicking is, is really cuck, as you say, in South Africa. And you can't win a game without a kicker. I was just I was thinking the bomb squad may as well be a fanny squad now. <laughs> Because they didn't do anything that impressed me. And that's the, that's what they didn't know nothing like. Did you think it was a very loud atmosphere in there? You, you heard Ireland non-stop. Uh, you know Did that play into the it at Irish, all? The Irish are wonderful sport people in general. And I must say, it was played in the good spirit. So no, no complaints. Beaten by a better side, we will be back and, and we will win this thing. I'm sure about that. South Africa, you know, there's a few trees that were laying on the table there that they missed. Mm. If they had a kicker, you know, no, no disrespect to uh, LeBoc or, or the clerk. If uh, Pollard was playing and he took those trees, it'd be different uh, results right now. So, were you were you scared? Did you see a loss looming? Um, no, I didn't actually. I no. didn't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just something different about this Irish team, and I know you could use every cliche under the sun to describe this team, but for some reason. Psychologically, uh, there's just a different feel to this yeah. team, you know, gone two, uh, two points behind. Yeah, no, it didn't worry me. But look, at the end of the day, South Africa could have took those penalties and uh, it would be a different result right now. I mean, the Irish are clever. They, they knew exactly how to take out the bomb squad and they did that. No, no, no. We, we used to lose sometimes. The end of the day at my shoulder, we make it at the end. This is only on the way there. They haven't won the, 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 the war yet, yeah. only won one game, uh, we'll see them in the final. The two best teams in the, in the squad, the we'll see them in the final. I think Ireland are going to make it out uh, of the past the quarterfinals. I, I, I do think so, they've got a very difficult one against the All Blacks. The All Blacks you must never, never underestimate. Tonight Ireland played well, but they could have been better. Where could it? Where could they have been better? Where was the uh, second phase and all that? There, shite. Like, but Ireland were physically we were there, but the set up play we weren't there at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we lacked simple things. Like, you know what I mean? Like the second phase pop ups and all that shite. Yeah. We weren't there like at there, but at the end of the day, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's group stages and that's where we're at. We'll take it. Rassi has a plan because he is the master strategist and he will take us to the World Cup and we will win. There's still faith in Rassi, clearly. you got to love it. I'm on the box. But maybe if they could finish their kicking, would it have been a, would it been a different story? Andre Pollard would be a different game. Yeah, true. Yeah, they, took, they, they didn't take... The, when they had their chances to go for the corner, they went for the kicks and they missed the kicks. So yeah. it was a bit cowardly, in my opinion. But who am I to, who am I to speak? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Malcolm Marks not in the oh. tournament anymore. Was he a big miss today? Great yeah, disappointment. The Springboks without Michael Marks is the best player on the field by far. Yeah. I think the best number two in the world. So obviously a big setback. But you know, Bongi is also right up there. So yes, I think yeah. uh, we'll do the thing. Still, still going all the way to the final. I hear. Absolutely, without any doubt, we will go back to the final. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, of course we're going to the final. I mean, the, the French did us a massive favour not playing to, you know, to play Dupont against the Nibia. I mean, mm -hmm. that was just a critical error from the French management because now they've got their star player with a broken jaw 
and he's going to be out for at least three weeks. And if you're playing the, the, the French in a knockout game without De Paul, you've got a good chance of going all the way to the final. Bear magic, out the back, he'll do it. <laughs> are, we, are we going to the final, lads? Uh, are they going all the way? I mean, the going. No, if we, we had won't. tickets, we'd go, but... Uh. <laughs> well, 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 Ireland, are they... Are they get through a quarter-final first. Is that, is that the next fear, actually making it past? The quarter-final is always the bogey, isn't it? Are it's you? getting over the quarter-final is the problem. If you don't make it past the quarter-finals, are you guys known as the... Quarter-finals again and then you're gone. Cheers. <laughs> Are you are you known as the biggest bottlers in world rugby? No, you see, we it's play so we play football for a club at home in Ireland, and we're the biggest bottlers in Ireland. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. You see it from Andy Farrell. You felt like that you had enough to take on the game. So South Africa changed their game to meet us from the game in 2020. We won it fucking 1916 back then. Sorry, we won it 1916 back then. <laughs> but they had to change their game. They've got to do something different. They have to meet us. Can they meet us? As, no. Has Andy Farrell changed this Ireland squad to get it past the quarterfinal? My favourite thing about Andy Farrell is he doesn't believe in, like, I don't know how to explain this. The best trait of Andy Farrell is he, he loves building up the media, but just knocking them away with, like, stupid comments. Mm -hmm. So, like, you, you see the same thing with Eddie Jones, where, like, Eddie Jones soaks up media, mm -hmm. soaks them up. Yeah. And like, throws out like the world's... Everything was there for South Africa. We haven't found it. There is I. We see them in the final. We'll let 100. What's the, what's the key points? What would you tell uh, Rossi that what they need to do in the final to beat Ireland then? Get your kicks over. Just a kick. That's it. Everything was there. Get the kicks over. I mean, um, it's a tough team. You will not score tries. World Cups don't get won by, try, by tries. They get won by, by kicks. And, and we need to get the kick. Pollard is back in our group. Uh, I think Lebel played Pollard into the team today. Unfortunately, that, but that's how it works. We need to put out 11 points. It was a big different game ball. My friend, Ireland are winning this World Cup every day of the week. After that? 100%. Yeah? There's no doubt. What do, you, what do you think about that game? Oh, Roshinavaya! Oh, Roshinavaya! Oh, Roshinavaya! If we come up against France, Intermac and Dupont are the heart of that French team, both of them are out. Yeah, both of them are out. He's not going to make it back with that broken cheekbone. I mean, that is a godsend for us, though. let's be honest, it's a complete godsend. And do you know Dupont's the best player in the world? Best yeah. player in the world right now. And Intermac is up there with the best players in the world. And the team was built around them. Charlie Blair, unbelievable player. Yeah. Unbelievable. But let's be honest, two players out. I don't know. It's a bit. It's, it's, a bit, no it's, yeah. Yeah, it's not great. But here, look, New Zealand, right? Good side, but I think we have beaten them absolutely. No injuries. Were there any injuries? I think. Uh, no, no injuries. Daring, daring runs, maybe. Uh, shoulder, he shou came back on. shoulder he came injury. Back on. He did? Okay. We're good. We made it through unscathed. How is that possible? So 7 1 didn't work. The 7 1. So then, the new work. squad. Good for us. What about, what about Scotland in two weeks' time? Ah. <laughs> Scotland. I just want to comment. I just want to comment on that. South Africa needs to lose a pool game in order to win the final. Remember that. Minute. Oh, when, when, it, final, when it finished. When it finished. <laughs> I was nervous but excited. The roar, roars were clearly amazing in the yeah, stadium. Yeah, the banner roar was the best roar. Yeah. Do you know what okay. the banner roar is? Chuck your law. Explain the banner roar. Is? Well, explain the banner roar. <laughs> Just every time I saw the France today, it was like it's a it's a bowl, folks. It's a bowl. It's unbelievable. But good for us today, and wow! wow. I sang both national anthems with pride. You know, uh, go see see go lily Africa. Ah, good for us today. Yeah, rugby was the winner today.